Are you the captain? I'm gonna open this chest first. Okay, cool. We have a lot of ethers, and that is uh, great. Um, yes, what is it? Are, are you the captain? Yeah, I'm Freya. Something you find odd about my face, is there? Sorry, I, I didn't mean to offend you. I, I just never imagined that the captain would be a woman. Travelers, are you? Do we want to get to Flonea? Flonea Citadel? You certainly don't look like any merchants I've ever seen. I can't just let a group of unidentified people through. If you want to get to Flonea, you'll need to explain yourselves. Or the sacrifice is guard. Is that the best you could come up with? It hasn't even been ten years since the last sacrifice. We are not lying. Have you not noticed? The monsters are more ferocious of late, and their numbers are increasingly rapidly or increasing rapidly. If something isn't done soon, there will be dire consequences. That's why I was decided to send another sacrifice sooner than usual. Mm, I see. And that sacrifice is you, is it? I too have sensed the monsters growing more ferocious. It is becoming harder and harder to deal with the ones near the town. And the sacrificial rites losing their power. Or is something else awry? I have indeed been feeling a strange sense of uneasiness lately. But that's only all the more reason for me not to let you through the frost caves. But why? The monsters in the frost caves are even more dangerous than those above ground. I am responsible for guarding this village. And I cannot send a sacrifice and a guard of just two to their death. So what should we do? I've been training up the youngsters around here for as a resistance force. I want you to at least choose one of them to take with you. You've been training them? The monsters aren't going to wait around until things are convenient for us. We need to be ready to fight back at any time. We've met a man in the abandoned village near here. Is he a part of the resistance too? Oh, so you met Nadir. Technically, he's a little different. He did once serve as part of the Sacrifice's Guard, but... Really? He accompanied the Sacrifice? Oh, he didn't tell you? It was almost 20 years ago now. He didn't seem like the type. Having someone experienced along would be a great help. Do you think he'd join us? I very much doubt it. He's not the man he once was. Oh, I see. I don't know what to do with him, to be honest. He hasn't been back to his hometown once since the pilgrimage. He's ended up staying here the whole time. Why is that? Well, maybe you should try asking him. Anyway, let me introduce you to my men. They should be out in the village square training as we speak. Come with me. Okay. They can all hold their own. Want to test their metal? Alright. Show us what you've got. What do you mean? I hate to do it, but it looks like we've got no choice. Let's see what you've got. W what? If you are really strong, we'll have you join as part of our, the Sacrifices Guard. What? R right now? Is, is that really true, though? You'll have us join the Sacrifices Guard? The three of you can come at us at once. We'll start when you're ready. Are we really going to fight these guys? They look pretty tough. 
I really don't like the looks of that guy in the mask either. No, no, I, I want to grow stronger. I'll show them what I've got and I'll join the sacrifices guard. Nier's never been the same since coming back from that pilgrimage, though. Even if we do get a hero's welcome when we come back, if we end up like him, then... What are you, stupid? Just because Nadir ran himself down, it doesn't mean we will. I want to be a hero. I want to be a spoken of in legend and myth. Anyways, this might be the only chance we ever get to join a sacrifice's pilgrimage. What are you blabbering about? Hurry up and get yourselves ready. I'll do it. Alright. It'll be fine. He's just wearing the mask to look tough. Come on, let's get him. Looks like they're ready. Oh, should I probably... I should probably do defend on... So it can hit all three, because I'm sure that it's like the base. Yes. That's one down. Yeah, I still feel like I should be able to like guard or do something. Yes. No, I don't want to hex trade. Cool. Easy enough. It's no good. <laughs> we don't stand a chance. I, I never said, imagined the sacrifices guard would be this strong. I yeah. On second thought, how pathetic. They really were no match for you, Em. Regrettably, they do indeed have little real combat experience. Can we go then? It's obvious no one here is going to be up to scratch. No, there's one person. Really? Where are they? Standing right in front of you. You mean, you'll come with us? Well, what choice do I have? If no one else is up to scratch, then I'll have to go myself. I wouldn't if I were you. I'm not so long in the tooth that I need a whippersnapper like you worrying about me. I can still handle the sword just fine, thank you very much. I'll be able to hold my own. Don't you worry. Thank you. It'll be a great relief to know that you're with us. Now that that's settled, I need to get ready. Come on, what are you doing taking a nap? All of you, patrol duty, now. What? Now? My legs, they won't work. We, we need the rest of the day off. Pull yourselves together. going to be defending this place by yourselves for a while. Sorry, but can you wait here? It won't take long. I need to do a final patrol while I kick some life back into my men. Please, rest yourselves at my place until I get back. saw the whole thing. You guys are real damn strong. We need people like you in the resistance. So how about it? 
No. Water broccoli. Oh. I'm sure the resistance would be stronger if they ate more. Food's very important, you know. The resistance are a ragtag bunch. I can't imagine them being much help in a pinch. Yeah, they were pretty easy to beat. Let's take the captain up on her offer until she gets back. Not that we really have time to be sitting around. We've still got a long way to go. We need every opportunity we can to rest. Oh well. Looks like we've got no choice. I wonder why he's never been back home. Not even once. Maybe something happened on the pilgrimage. You mean Nadir? Yeah. Say, how about we try asking him to join us too? Why are you so interested in him? Because he has experience as part of the Sacrifices Guard? Well, there's that, of course. I don't know. There's just something about him. Like he needs our help, almost. Alright. Let's think about it when the captain gets back. All right. Don't you think she's taking a little long? Yeah, you're right. She said she was going on a final patrol. Help. Someone, please. Has, has something happened? Apparently so. That voice sounded like it was coming from the entrance of the village. Captain. She'll live, but her wounds are pretty bad. And be careful carrying her. And don't you worry about them. They just look shook up. What on earth happened? A man carrying a huge scythe suddenly attacked us. The cat protected us and, and now... I was just passing by. I found the captain all beaten up, so I carried her on my back and dragged these three back here as fast as I could. Damn it, why did you run away? You should have fought him. You're supposed to be a hero, aren't you? I barely managed to run. There's no way I would have stood a chance against a freak like that. Forget it. It's me who is a fool for thinking you'd help. That man might still be in Sarandel. I'll avenge the captain. I swear it on my on the name of the resistance. Hey, c come on, wait. Damn it. You two treat the captain's wounds. You can manage that much, can't you? Now, I'm telling you this for your own good. You should all get out of here. It seems that freak was after the sacrifice. And that's you, ain't it, miss? You mean, because of me, the, the captain? Don't let it get to you. That's just the way the sacrifice's journey is. So someone's trying to get in the way of the pilgrimage, eh? Sounds a little like someone else I know. Even if we wanted to leave, before we can go anywhere, we need the entrance to the caves unlocked. And also, the captain said she was coming with us because our guard was too small. No chance. She's going to need complete bed rest. So what are we supposed to do? 
She said she wouldn't let us through unless we upped our numbers. Nadir, I, I hear that you were once successfully accompanied. I hear that you once successfully accompanied a sacrifice on her pilgrimage. Can't you help us too? Sorry, but my journey ended a long time ago. Once the captain wakes up, you get her to unlock the entrance of the caves and then be on your way. Now I have some business to intend to in Serendil, so excuse me. So what should we do? I say we follow him. Well, maybe you're right. I wasn't too sure about him when we first met him. But the way he brought the captain and the others back like that, he's strong and he can obviously keep his head in an emergency. But even if we go after him, you think he'll agree to join us? I want to talk to him more. It's like he's carrying some sort of burden. That's the feeling I get. And I think that might have something to do with why he won't join us. Anyway, if we don't do something, that man who attacked the captain will hurt more people. I know Nadir said what he did, but I don't want people to suffer because of me. Sorry for being so stubborn. It's no problem. How like you, said Sumo. All right, let's follow. Okay, do I gotta heal? What's that? All right, he said he might still be in Serendo. I think the fact there aren't many monsters around here could be thanks to him. Yeah, I think so too. So that's why he was so tired the first time we met him. Is this what he's been doing ever since he came back from the pilgrimage? But why would he do that? To protect the village, maybe? There's that, of course, but I think there's another reason too. The people of the village think that the peaceful lives are thankful thanks to the sacrifice. He never went back home and stayed here fighting off the monsters. Could that be because he didn't want anyone to doubt the sacrifice was protecting them? If so, that might just mean... We'll need to check that last part with him. Yeah, right. Let's go in, dear. You're in the way there. Come on, there's no need to be like that. A man can take a walk, can he? What exactly is it you're always doing anyways? Wandering around the fort like that? Hero. Ha. <laughs> you should try taking a leaf out of the captain's book. <laughs> you got me there, kid. Can't argue with that. The captain once said you were the most trustworthy man she knew. I trusted you too. I looked up to you. But now? Trustworthy, eh? Nah. That ain't me. I'm afraid. Um, Nidir? What is it? Is the captain awake? Please, let me ask you once more. Please join us on our journey. I already told you my answer. Sorry, but no can do. My journey is over. That's not true. 
If it is, then why didn't you return home after the pilgrimage? Why didn't I return home? There must be a reason. A, a reason? Ever since you returned from the pilgrimage, you've been driving away all the monsters that get near the fort, haven't you? Why would you do that? To hide the truth. To keep the truth hidden. If the pilgrimage was completed successfully, there shouldn't have been that many monsters. But if it wasn't, then that's why you had to keep on fighting them off. And that's because the pilgrimage of the sacrifice that accompanied you was a failure. That's why you couldn't go back home. So you stayed here and continued fighting off the monsters to stop the people worrying and make them think the effects of the sacrifice was continuing. But this is no longer Purika's problem alone. At this rate, the whole of the mainland will soon be filled with monsters. Don't you want to complete your journey? Please, we need you. We need your strength. Come on, stop it. I ain't got no such strength to give. I can't protect her. Hey, is what she said true? H how could you? You mean you've been tricking us all this time? How low can you get? Hero, give me a break. You're a coward. That's what you are. A coward and a liar. I, I just... What's, what's going on? Get behind me. No chance. I don't need to hide behind the likes of... Just be quiet and do as I say. If you don't want to die, that is. I found you, Sacrifice. You mean this is the freak who attacked the captain? And here, get him to somewhere safe. Leave this to us. What do you mean? You need to run too. No. We'll fight. <laughs> Be careful, both of you. Yeah, that's what I mean. I should hit him so I can hit everyone. The next two goes to end here. God damn it, why did why does it auto select her? He went there.
eternal. One down. Tougher than I imagined, but this is the end. End here. This is the end. Get your hands off of them. The sacrifice must be destroyed. Think I'm gonna let you? What? And here. It seems his body is not yet perfect. He's gone. Thank you, Setsuna. You saved our lives. I'm glad you're both safe. I was so desperate. I. You guys are incredible. That freak didn't stand a chance against you. Are you hurt? No, but thanks to you. Why didn't you run? I couldn't just run away and leave them behind. Even if your guard are killed, you must save yourself and escape. That's one of the laws of the pilgrimage. But they promised me. They promised me they'd see my journey through to its end. So in turn, I must protect them. And to do that, I must fight. I must make sure that we all reach the last lands together. I see. Can't be an easy job to garden a sacrifice like this, eh? No, that's not true. Anyway, we're going back. I don't know what the captain would do to me if any of her precious men were to get hurt. But Nadir... Come on, let's go. And dear, when that man attacked us, you didn't run away. You got to your feet, ready to protect Setsuna to the very end. Don't worry about it. Well, thanks. It puts my mind at ease a little to hear that. Come on, let's head back to Perico. Let's save first. 